The National Biotechnology Development Agency, NAPDA, has taken a significant step towards promoting biotechnology in agriculture by holding a one-day sensitization workshop for farmers. The workshop focused on the safe use of genetically modified seedlings and aimed to foster collaboration between farmers, associations and stakeholders in the agricultural sector. The Director General of NAPDA, Prof. Professor Abdullahi Mustafa, emphasized that extensive research and studies have consistently shown that genetically modified organisms, GMOs, are safe and pose no health risk. He said, the workshop serves as a platform to educate farmers on biosafety and biotechnology, ensuring they are all well informed about the latest advancement in agricultural practices. One day sensitization workshop is uh, to look into the crucial aspect of uh, biotechnology approach towards economic sustainability and improvement of economy in the country. We should always look, be looking at all these things as a collective uh, uh, frontier that we should be moving uh, at together as a country so that we can achieve all this development in terms of economy and uh, uh, the, the, the farming activity. Dr. Agnes Asagra, the Director General of the National Biosafety Management Agency, NBMA, called for increased cooperation among scientists, regulators and farmers to ensure that GM crops are safely integrated into the Nigerian food supply. And therefore, I'd like to say this is a laudable program by offer to try to bridge the gap between the scientists, the regulator, and the farmers, and the Nigeria populace. It's a value chain. Furthermore, the president of the Cassava Association of Nigeria, Alahaji Mustafa Utman Bakanu, and the Maize Association of Nigeria, Alahaji Bello Abubakar Al Nur, highlighted the need for ongoing education for farmers regarding GMOs. They stressed the importance of ensuring that farmers are equipped with the knowledge of the use of GMO seedlings safely and effectively. So please, if there's a way, whether by way of donor agencies, because we know that the government has so much pressures now, from banditry to these, we want to feed ourselves quickly. So I think it's going to be a very good opportunity of help, not only helping Nigeria, but the whole of West and Central Africa. We we'll have a collaboration with some other seed companies from Hungary, from Switzerland, Zurich. We have that collaboration and we are going to start it this year. We have already signed an MOU with them. 